MIDI Composer and Symphony version 6 are fully 64-bit applications. This allows the application to take advantage of all the RAM that you have in your computer, especially when you're working with large, complex projects with lots of HD and AMA-linked video. So now, what is AMA? AMA is a plug-in architecture that allows third parties, camera manufacturers, whoever, to write plugins to extend MIDI Composer. So now MIDI Composer and Symphony are both extensible. So for example, Panasonic wrote the Panasonic P2 plugins. So to use, those, to use Panasonic P2 within MIDI Composer, it's this simple. I go File, Link to AMA Volume, and on my desktop here, I have a folder full of AMA Media. I'll call these virtual, you know, virtual volumes. I've copied the contents of a P2 card to a folder, so you can see my contents last clip text. So I'm selecting that card, I click OK, and I make a new bin to put my clips in, and that quickly, my P2 is there and ready to go, and I can double click on a clip, and I could use it in my project. And I could drag and drop it into my timeline, and there you go, Panasonic P2. Additionally, AMA will read all the metadata so that the camera can record or be added later by the camera logging software. So in the case of P2, it would be the P2 content management software or P2 viewer. So you see all this metadata is, can be added and Media Composer tracks it all the way through. Let's take a look at some other file formats. File, link to AMA volume, and let's go to, how about some red media? So here's some red files. So I have, I have these are all the magazine takes, I click OK. I'm gonna say single bin, it makes a new bin, and here's all my red media, right? Ready to use, no rewrap, no transcode. And I double click on the clip, and here it is, ready to use, and I can actually drop that in my timeline, and there it is, I can use red media right away, no rewrap or transcode. Some other file formats, a new one we added in version six is ABC HD. File, link to AMA volume, and now in this example, I have three ABC virtual volumes, ABC HD virtual volumes in, my fo in one single folder called ABC HD. By selecting that top folder, I'm gonna index all three of these virtual volumes in one pass. I click OK. I'm presented with this dialog and it says, how do I wanna organize this, right? So since I've been using just one folder at a time, I've been saying just make me one bin. But now I wanna actually have based on subfolders. So by selecting based on subfolders, I click OK, right? Individual bins are made, are created with the clips in it. So even while the clip is actually being indexed, I can actually double click on it, drag and drop it, right? And start using it right away. And here's some a native support for ABC HD. It works great. But this is, there's a whole host of different AMA plugins that are available. And I encourage you to go to avid.com forward slash AMA to find a list of all the plugins that are supported. A number of new Kodaks were added to Media Composer and Symphony version six. The most exciting one is Apple ProRes. So in version six, Apple ProRes can be a native Kodak inside of Media Composer and Symphony requiring no transcode to use it. And that's gonna be right in my sequence, right next to my DNX HD without any problem at all. Additionally, there was a DNX HD 444 added. So now you can work with either Apple ProRes or your compressed 444 codec. Now, for example, in this, in this sequence, I have a whole host of different codecs in my timeline and I'm able to play it down without requiring any render or transcode to play it down or perform a digital cut in full quality.